Hello all, welcome to channel 11. Today I would like to give one simple example about method chaining in C-sharp. So I, I, it looks for me very interesting and this is the first time I am trying. So I found this example in Google, Google, so I would like to share that. So normally when we try to create object, so and we would like to suppose I have the method, one static method here like public static string sample my sample so let's take example this one just for uh, demo purpose so, so this is my my sample method so is for try to access let me comment this one now i will get if i go to my sample method if i try to draw so i could not see any extra methods from this class we observe here this is the since this is the written type as a string i get related to string extension methods but uh, we 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 are, we are not seeing any methods in the, here from the class if you observe here i have the set value i have one more property called total so those objects i could not able to access here so I tried. So I just seen one uh, one uh, got idea how we, we we can go for extending, accessing, chaining of methods. So this is one of the best example I have seen. So let's go to our our main uh, method. And if you see here, this is my one of the setting uh, so let's take our example i would like to set multiple values from using chaining method like in fluent if you if you see that i can able to chain my call the methods using one by one chaining first me i am trying to call first method and second method third method and at, at the last i would like to get the total so i can do same from Other than calling like this, so I can create the object first, other than setting. So I can do how we can call regular way, like this result of uh, set value. Three, I can, then I can call result of total value so to, total so this is also will give the same result but compared to this this is most readable so I can chaining my value um, I, I can able to call and set the value using chain chaining calling the methods one after another and set entering the total this is one simple example and you can use this uh, this this way for uh, for our programming just I would like to so here you can um, what uh, how we are going to do chaining is like this if you see the syntax here i can maximize this if you see syntax here i am this is my one of the method i am like to chain so i am doing what i my logic here and read if you see here i am returning this so this means indirectly this is the class i am returning 
return this this class to that method so from that method if i return the if this method is returning indirect this means this class again you can access this method like this you can continuously call how many times we want so this is how it will work here the important thing is return this and if you see the return if you obviously if you return this obviously how to mention the class name here so indirectly we are setting you are returning the same class same object to this method and if you again uh, put the dot and you can again access that uh, those methods from so if you go if you are if i uncomment here if i uncomment here so let me go on here so i created object if i press i can able to access the all methods from that uh, in that class if you see i am able to access get total and so this is my sample object rec recently and this is the my my chaining method so if i pass the on value and if i put dot again i can have access the same class object with same parameters so again i am setting to so now i am i uh, so far made enough so then i am retrieving total if we go so if i see my logic here i am i am taking that input i am assigning to my global property so i am uh, i am appending i am adding those values to my get total property so whenever i would like to feel fine and then i would like to get the total then i can directly access that property so face if, if i put dot here so since my property is not changing so i can't get any more uh, uh, means properties related to my class so let me go and run putting debug here debug point so if i if i run this one i should get one two four total for output again I will put my breakpoint here so if you see the my result is 4 so if I add a uh, few more set values with number, so this number will automatically get increased. Let me go and add a uh, few more set. So one, two, three, four, seven, total eleven I should get. we see my result is output so guys are you able to understand how to develop the chaining method chaining in c sharp i hope you understand thank you thank you very much have a nice day